Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over my curriculum choices for preschool years. For the grades preschool through second grade, I like to focus on the main core subjects. So all my curriculum revolves around the core subjects of reading or literacy, writing, and math. So I focus on those because if you focus on those in the early years, when they get older, you're going to set them up for success because they can be proficient in the important stuff and they'll be able to do more independent work as they get older. Okay, so I'm going to bring you guys in to show you what I have here and I'll try to leave some links in the description below to what I have. Okay. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to go over is we're going to go over writing. And in the preschool years, if your child doesn't have good pen control yet, you want to teach them pen control first. And then after you teach them pen control, then they'll be able to move on to writing letters. When you're teaching them how to write, you also want to focus on making sure that they are using their pincher grasp instead of holding the pencil like this. If they get used to holding the pencil like this, it'll be very hard to break that later on. So it's best to try to start having them use, hold the pencil the correct way. So for starters, as I said, if your child does not have good pen control, you're going to want to start with something easy. So this is a book from Kumon and it's actually a maze book. And what I do with a lot of my curriculum is I take it and put it in sheet protectors and then in a binder, in a three ring binder. That way I can use it for multiple children instead of having to buy the books over and over again and in turn it saves quite a bit of money. So this is the book from Kumon and it's just a simple uh, mazes book. The mazes get a little harder as it goes on and they gotta go from one end to the other and try to stay in the lines. So I do this to help them learn the pencil control. And then in alternate, I alternate this book. And this is a book that I use. And this is just basic tracing lines. So you have the different lines here. And you just simply have them trace the lines to learn their pencil control. As uh, you progress through this binder, you start getting a little bit harder lines, shapes, a little bit harder things to do with the pencil to practice their pencil control. And I alternate this book and the mazes book. As I said before, I do create a lot of my own books um, and a lot of these sheets that are actually in these are free. So you can um, download them online, print them off, and then put them in the books yourselves I'll try to leave some links below so I alternate that in the mazes book to get them good pencil control then once they have that pencil control they move on to letters and numbers so for every letter I have a sheet here that I have the child we go over the letter so I'll give you an example a, a, a for ant apple arrow anchor, airplane, and acorn. And then I have them color the little pictures, and then we use the manipulatives that I have, and they fill in the letter with the manipulatives. Um, now I did do a video on some of the manipulatives that I have for the kids, and I'll leave that linked below in case you wanna see that. So after they do the fill in the letter and they um, color the pictures, they go on to they go on to tracing the letter. So very simple, A, A, A for ant. I start with capital letters and get them used to tracing and writing capital letters. And then I move on to a sheet that has both um, capital and lowercase. And I think I've made a video on that as well, so I'll leave that linked below so you can see how we do that. And then they also do a number. So they'll do one letter and one number a day. So this first number is zero, so this is blank. But you see the zero over here? I'm going to show you one where that's not blank. I have these little, for each number, up to 20. 
I have these little number sheets like this, and the child will go over the number. This number is one, and then they have to figure out what t-shirt has one button on it, or whatever the page says. And then they simply trace the number, write the number, count the items, and they color in the squares. So that's what I do for writing in preschool. Then, the next thing we're gonna talk about is literacy or reading. So I like the Hooked on Phonics um, program. I have it all the way up to second grade, which is the last grade that you do it. And um, for the preschool years, um, it is very simple, okay? And I correlate this with my other curriculum items that I'm gonna show you. Now I'm gonna show you what's in the box, and there's two of them for each grade level. So you get level one and level two, and then in kindergarten it goes up to three and four, so on and so on. Now, inside these books, like I said, it's very simple. It comes with, it shows you, it comes with the workbook, and then it comes with stories to read with your child, because at this point they're not reading. And then it also comes with a DVD that you play in the TV or laptop or whatever, and the book will actually tell you when to use the DVD and when to read the stories. So, just to show you, this is, like I said, the first. So the first level one focuses on capital letters, just like my writing book, and then level two right here, we'll focus on capital and lowercase, okay? So the first thing you do is it has the alphabet, so you sing the alphabet with your child. It has some rhyming stuff, but then once you start getting to the letters, it has a letter page that says learn the letter, and um, you simply teach the child the letter and its sound. So A says A, ah, A. Ah. Then it gives you a couple ways to explore the letter A. And what I have my child do is I have them trace with their finger and then fill it in with the manipulatives. And then um, this, you say the name of the pictures. So A, A, ah, A, ah, like apple, alligator, astronaut and then you have them trace now when they trace I have them after they're done I have them say the letter so they would go like this a a a a a a a so we do one letter out of this book and then I correlate it with the next items that I'm gonna show you. So that's the Hooked on Phonics. And like I said, there's two levels. I like these Get Ready for the Code books. They are um, uh, books that you're supposed to write in, but what I do is I take whatever page you're on and I make a copy of that sheet on my printer. That way I can use the book for multiple children. And uh, I correlate this with the phonics for this level. So if we go over the letter A, 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 we'll find that letter in here. The book doesn't start off with that letter, but whatever letter we're doing in there, if we do letter F, that's the letter we're going to be studying in this book, okay? So say we did letter F in the Hooked on Phonics, then we would use that for this book. And the first letter, the first page always starts off with a mark, the one that is different. And then it goes on and on having the child do activities. So over here it shows, gives you what to say to the child and it'll have them color or mark in a different way the, le the pictures that start with that letter. Or it'll have you trace the letter or find the picture and color the one that matches the letter. And like I said, I match it to the letter we're doing in the Hooked on Phonics. Okay, and that's Get Ready for the Code. They have book A, book B, and book C. Then I also have this literacy learning folder, okay? As I said before, I put it in a binder and then in sheet protectors so they can use it over and over again. So we review the letter sounds and then it has different activities that you do. So for the activities, this one is draw a line from the letter 
to the right picture. We have uh, placed the letters on the cake. You can use bottle cap letters, like bottle caps with a little letter written on them to put them on the cake. Or this printable did come with letters that you could laminate and and um, use, which is what we do. And you just have the towel match the letter. So put the E with the E, the K with the K. And then I always like to go over each letter that they did. Some words that you draw a line to the correct word. Or you draw a line from the picture to the word. Alphabet order where the child places, we have little cards and they place the missing letter in the alphabet. And circle the beginning sound. And you can also, when you circle the beginning sounds, you could even just do a manipulative. Like if you don't want to have them circle, um, ladybug, l, l, ladybug. So they'd put a manipulative on the L or circle the L. And it does not require any writing. It's just circling, drawing lines, or using manipulatives. Okay, now we're going to move on to math. So for math, I have two things that we use for math. The first thing is the mathematical reasoning, and yes, the cover ripped off of this book, so I'll leave a picture up here in the corner of this book so you can see what it looks like. And this is just the beginning level, and we go through this book, and they do like two pages a day, and it's just simple. Um, I don't have them color anything in the book because I like to reuse it. So what I do is I have them place manipulative. So if it says how many moons, they'll count. And then it says color one of the moons. Instead of color, I say, okay, put um, cover up one of the moons. And they'll use a manipulative to cover up one of the moons. Um, it has some can you find me. It has how many, how many, you count how many. Uh, touch the fruits and count. Has different things in it that I like to go over and do with the kids. It has some patterns, has shapes, um, simple sorting, um, counting, all sorts of different stuff. So I like to use this book and they'll do about two pages a day. And then I alternate that book with this. And this is my math binder. And um, I use sticky notes to mark the pages they're going to be doing, so excuse all the sticky notes. Um, and uh, first thing I have is a, lead, a number page. And then this is, again, used with manipulatives or coloring or circling the box. So I would say, okay, look, this one says zero. Which number is zero? Or same thing, count the cars, trace the number, draw a line. Um, count how many and place a manipulative or circle. Um, I did go over this book in a um, video. So I will link that video below so you can get the links. But I got all these papers for free. Um, so these are matching items. And I go a little more over this book in that video that I'll link below. Biggest to smallest, same or different. Okay, so that book alternates with the mathematical reasoning book, and that's what I have for math. Then on the side of all that, we have flashcards. So I start off with letters, capital and lowercase, and then I move on to sight word flashcards if they get to that um, during preschool, but sometimes they don't. Um, so we have the flashcards. And then I have little readables that I read with them. Um, so as you can see, I have a couple different ones here, but we do have many more and you can buy these or you can even find them at your local library. I did do a how to utilize your library for the summer months, but I will be doing a video on how to utilize your library for school months. And I'll be doing that after I do my curriculum videos. So um, you can rent these from the library, you can get them, buy them, whatever, but they're just simple books that have rhyming, simple words, rhyming, simple sentences to get the child used to reading, and you read those with your child. And then I also have 
this folder here, I keep my pages for my book. So I have the children do a notebook, an interactive notebook at this age, and I did make a video on that. I'll leave that video below if you want to see more on it. But this is pretty basic. It goes over each letter of the alphabet, and it has you color them. This one says draw a nose. Um, and then it has some cut and paste stuff, and it has all the different letters. And I have them do this, and then at the end of the year, you have a cute little keepsake in a notebook that you can keep. I did, as I said, I did make a video on that, so I'll leave that below. So those are my curriculum choices for this year. Um, as I said, I like to make things reusable. We use this curriculum, and then we also do hands-on activities. Um, if you go to my page, I have a lot of videos on hands-on activities to further the learning. And then in addition to all that, when we do science, and um, social studies, anything like that, that, we do it all together. And we use the library for a lot of those things. And we do that during our circle time. But my main focus is math, literacy, reading, and writing. Okay, so I hope you got some good ideas. As I said, I'll try to leave some links below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.